Hey guys, Robbie Richards here. This is the final video in the AB testing tutorial. Uh, in the first two videos, I showed you how to set up and build landing page variants extremely fast and also set it up to so, so that you don't get flagged by a duplicate content penalty in Google. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually configure the uh, Google Analytics AB testing experiment so that we can serve these pages and measure the performance based on our Google Analytics goals. And this is super easy. If you just log into Google Analytics and head into the behavior report here and scroll down to experiments, it'll take you in here. You can see I've been playing around already with this post. Uh, for this example, we'll create a new experiment. Once we're in here, let's just title it, uh, you know, whatever title you uh, we'll find it easy to identify this if you set up a lot of experiments. I'm just going to do penalty analysis uh, number three. <laughs> just something easy to uh, reference. And then the next part is you will set your objective for this experiment. So in this example, I would create a new objective and label it uh, something like affiliate link. And then I would create an event goal here that I would go in and then I would configure an event goal and label it based off of the name of the test variant that um, I have set up. And then that way I can track how many affiliate link clicks I get with each version of the landing page. But for time's sake, I am uh, not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna go back and use one of my predefined goals that I have already set up. Uh, but there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to set up Google Analytics uh, event goals if you're unfamiliar with that process. So I'm just going to head back into, uh, let's head back into my experiment here. And then, so I'm just going to set, select a predefined goal. Once I have my event analytics, uh, sorry, my event tracking goal set up, I'll be able to select it in here. But let's just uh, choose email subscription now. And then how much of the traffic do I want to send to this A-B test experiment? Uh, let's just select 50%. And then email notifications for important changes. I'm going to leave that off for now. Uh, I'm going to distribute the traffic evenly across these variations, set it for two weeks, and then I'm going to set my confidence interval to 99%, just so I know that I'm getting some reliable results from uh, my A-B test. So once that's done, I'll click Next, and then I'll come into uh, the next step of the configuration, and this is where I will copy in the URLs of my A-B test variants. So in this case, um, for my, uh, my second variant of the post, I'm just going to open up, get the URL right here, and then I'm going to paste it into variation one, and then it'll populate a preview, and then I also want the original URL, which will just be the same URL without the two on the end, and then I'll paste it into the original page field. And then you'll see here on the right that you'll get a loading preview. Here, if you have some big changes, you know, you'll know you be able to make sure that it's pulling in the right page. Uh, you can add as many variations as you like. I'm just going to keep it at two for now. So then we'll go on to the next step. And then here it says setting up your experiment code. Now before anyone panics, uh, this, is, this is super easy, don't worry about it. Uh, if you have a webmaster, you can send that on to them using this button, or you can manually insert the code. And I'm going to show you how to do that without actually touching the code. So there's a free plugin called Header and Footer Scripts that you can download. And then what that will um, allow you to do is when you open up your post, you scroll down to the bottom, you will see a new box down here that says Insert Script to Head. Um, and then on that note, one thing when we're copying in the code from our uh, content experiment is we want to make sure we're placing it into the original version of the post. So let's just go back here quickly because we're in the uh, we're in the test variant right now. Let's go down to the original post here and open it up. And then, just like I showed you, we'll scroll down and we will find that header script box. Here it is. And then all I do is I just click in here, copy the code, come back over, paste it into the script head box and then that's all there is to it. No need to write or play with any code, just simply copy and paste. And then now I will simply click update. 
and then that will add the code into the head section of my original page. And then once that's in there, I'll just come back over and I will click next step. And we'll wait for the code to validate. And then you'll see here the original and the test variant, both code has been found. Uh, you can add some notes in here. But if you're all good, just click start experiment and it'll say like 50% of your users will be included in the experiment uh, and they will see either the original page or one of the variations based on the weighting that you set in the first stages of your experiment setup. Click go to experiment list and you'll see that it's running along with all the other experiments that you have going and then you can scroll down and then you can see the number of conversions for each variation based on the Google Analytic goals that you have set. And that's all there is to it. Now you have two variations of your landing page. You were able to build and edit in minutes. You have no worries about being penalized by Google. And you have set up an A-B testing experiment that you can send unlimited traffic to now. And you can monitor the variations of the different variations of the landing page. Um, you can track the conversion rate and see which ones perform best. And continually tweak, optimize, and scale your online business. It's helped me boost the email opt-in rates on my uh, squeeze pages on my site. Um, and you know, I was, I've been able to do it without writing a single line of code. I have no monthly recurring fees. Um, and you know, it's just super fast and I've been able to scale the whole process um, extremely easily. So that's all there is to it. Uh, I hope you found that tutorial super helpful. Um, and I understand that it may have seemed a little bit technical, but if you just follow the tutorial across the three videos listed on this page um, and then use the tools and the uh, plugins that I mentioned, uh, you'll be able to create landing uh, A-B tests and uh, scale the growth of your online business very, very easily, very, very fast. So until the next video, if you have any questions, please um, shoot me an email drop a uh, link in the comments or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So until the next video, have a good one.